People who exercise stretch for all kinds of reasons. To get more flexible, to avoid injury, or to avoid being haunted by their old gym teacher. But what reasons does science support? Let's break it down. Stretching comes in three main forms, static, dynamic, and ballistic. Research shows that static stretching before workouts doesn't do much to prevent injuries. And for performance, static stretching can actually reduce muscle power. When muscles are stretched, they lose some of their natural spring for a few minutes, which means less force during muscle contraction. Where static stretching excels is with flexibility. If you hold a stretch for 20 to 60 seconds and repeat it two to four times, your range of motion will improve. You do need to hold it long enough for the muscle spindles in your muscles to relax to avoid the stretch reflex. You know in the doctor's office that reflex of contraction or shortening that causes your knee to extend after a slight tap to the knee. You get the same type of shortening but to a smaller degree if you don't hold a stretch beyond 20 seconds. Dynamic stretching on the other hand is more about warming up. It raises muscle temperature, increases blood flow, lubricates joints and activates the nervous system. For athletes, this sharpens their reaction time and primes muscles for the exact movements they're about to perform. Ballistic stretching with its bouncing and jerking motions is riskier. It's mostly for advanced athletes and sports that specifically demand it, not everyday warm-ups. So here's the takeaway. Save static stretching for after exercise or recovery days to build flexibility. And skip ballistic stretching unless your sport truly requires it. But use dynamic stretching before exercise to get your muscles, joints, and nerves ready to perform. Because you want to be nimble when the ghosts of static stretching pass are released upon you from the netherworld, also known as middle school PE class. So be a strategic stretcher. Dynamic before, static after. To perform better, move freely, and stay active as you age. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.